Hello everyone and welcome. Oh shit. Right off the bat I'm fucking everything over. There we go. Welcome back to Sonic Adventure. Where we go the through the philosophy of our characters. Um Yeah, I'm immediately recording this right after last video. That looks good. That looks good, I think. Is this where I need to go, or do I need to go somewhere else? I'm not sure. I might need to go to Angel Island. First, let's run around to the other side. Just check down here for the call. Nope. Tikal, Tikal. I don't know how you would pronounce your name, nor do I really. Damn it, I really hope I didn't flip off. Um. Again, I don't really know what I want to talk about this time. Um. I talk about, like, the Sonic movies, but. Um. Mostly due to the fact that I've heard that, uh. Both Amy and Big apparently will be showing up in Sonic Adventure. T uh, not. Not adventure in fucking Sonic Movie 3. Which, <clears throat> number one, I'm hyped, because I'm a bit advocator for, um, Movie Amy to sh- Because, like, I'm sorry, but if they should, like, showed, like, Rouge in the movies before Amy, I would have personally would have been pissed. <laughs> and then, if, um... Yeah, just in general, if Rue showed up in the movies before Amy, I would have been pissed. And the fact that apparently Big the fucking cat is gonna show up. Again, for all, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a meme, but they talked about how both Metal Sonic and Amy, they talked about how Egg Game was gonna build Metal Sonic, and how apparently Amy and Big were gonna show up in the movie. And so I'm kind of excited for that because, um, because again, I'm very excited for Metal Sonic. That's so cool. And then for the fact that Amy might be showing up, or prop is most likely is going to be showing up, I am so happy for that. And then, um, I'm just Big the Cat, I swear to God, if they actually show Big the fucking cat, I, b I will literally be screaming in the movie theaters, yes, daddy, please. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe it, my dad's gonna be in the movie. Gee, what was that? Uh, I drug abuse. Very simple, Amy. You took the same thing Tails was on when he was flying high. <laughs> oh, bet you all didn't miss that lovely joke. Wait, can Amy swim? No, she cannot swim. <gasps> Wait a minute. Is that there like uh, an egg emblem or some shit up here? Yeah, I believe there's like an emblem you can get. Cooking up here. Well, I don't know if I can get it as Amy. I know you can get it as Knuckles, so. though. I'll just leave. <laughs> but, um. Yeah. I, I, I'm kind of hoping that, um, that in Sonic Movie 3 they age Amy up a bit. Because I think they made Sonic a bit older in Sonic Movie 2, so I'm hoping in Sonic Movie 3 Sonic's a bit older, and I'm especially hoping Amy is, like, aged up a bit. Because instead of being 12, she'd be, like, more closer to Sonic's age. Maybe even Sonic's age. 
Because again, to me, that would be so cool, because then, like, we could get the love story in Sonic 3. And I, I, I don't know if Paramount will go down that road, but I hope they do. Because if they do go down that route, then that means all the Sonic shippers are going to be like, hell to the yeah, daddy, give it to me. <laughs> Just like walk up to the poster, big the fucking cat, like, yes, daddy, give me Sonic. Uh, I fucking hate the internet, it's ruined my mind. Oddly enough, Amy shouts to the to Gamma in this situation, not to Sonic and Tails. One of the things I was talking about last episode, Amy is... <sighs> Amy's such a Chad. <laughs> Well, get respect when I'm jerking off behind her. Skirt is entirely poofed up right now. <sighs> but um, again, as as for song as for song heavy three, and I think I talked about this when I was when I was doing the last of my Sonic Dash videos, but um, um. After Sonic Movie 3, again, I want them to kind of start doing the whole Sonic and Amy, will they, won't they type thing. And then Sonic Movie 4 is going to be an entirely original plot, not adapting anything. It's going to set up the next Sonic movie, which I think they will adapt... Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure, and Sonic Heroes, and they'll call them like the Sonic Adventure trilogy. Hmm. You know, like they do. Um... Okay, so like what they would do is um, basically. They have, um, you know, they have Amy appear in the, at somewhere in the third movie, whenever she appears. <laughs> you know, and then the fourth movie, they kind of have, they kind of do the whole will they, won't they kind of thing. And then that sets up, after the, the Sonic Quadrilogy, or maybe even just leave it a trilogy, we then get the Adventure Trilogy. <laughs> Instead of just keep on naming them Sonic the Hedgehog 5, Sonic the Hedgehog 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, instead they do it like Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Adventure 3, maybe Sonic Adventure 4, and then start like throughout the entire adventure phase, give various characters their own spin off movies. Like, we could get an Amy movie, or a Tails movie, or a Knuckles movie. What am I supposed to be doing? I was not paying attention. 
But, um, yeah, and, like, by the end of Adventure 2, maybe Adventure 1, even. <laughs> but anyway, so, like, after Adventure 1 or Adventure 2, whichever movie it is, we get some, we get, we finally get the answer to will they, won't they. Maybe even a show in between. You know, maybe even an Amy Solo movie. And then, you know, and then after that we get a mainline movie which finally answers the will they, won't they question, which will most likely and most hopefully be will they. And then after that we'll hopefully get... Um... Then, you know, after that, depending on which adventure movie it is, then if, you know... So how I picture it is, we get Sonic the Hedgehog 3, maybe 4, maybe we'll skip straight to the adventure movies. But no matter what it is, we get a movie, and then we get another movie in the mainline series, maybe like a... maybe we start doing spin-offs for individual characters, like we get Knuckles movie. And then, like, a Shadow or a Tails movie. But after two or three movies, like, a, Hedge a Sonic 4 and then two adventures, or a Sonic Adventure 1 and a Sonic Adventure 2, we then get an Amy movie, which kind of... which gives her her own little character art throughout the movies. Maybe includes Sonic somewhat like... You know, like, it sets up, like, Adventure 3 or sets up the events of Sonic Heroes in a way, and then the third adventure movie we get finally answers the question. Yeah, and then it'll be they will, because, you know, obviously it's Hollywood. They gotta have their fairy tale ending in there. And... From there, we just kind of get... Again, Amy has her own character. Ah, oh, shit, how am I gonna do this? I gotta get something over there. There we go. So after we get a um, well, yeah, that's basically my thoughts on how the Sonic movie franchise will continue with Amy after Adventure Three or after Movie Three, I mean, and how <coughs> and how they might tackle the whole well, they want things done. Maybe we'll even, instead of getting a movie, we'll just get, like, an Amy miniseries as opposed to an entire show, or as opposed to an entire movie. Although I would, like, just in general, like, I think the majority of Sonic characters lend themselves to their own movie. I think, um, now as far as, like, spin-off character movies I want to see... Obviously, we could get, like, a Shadow the Hedgehog trilogy. I think out of all the characters who could carry a trilogy, it would be Knuckles and Shadow. Maybe even a quad trilogy. I know at least Knuckles and Shadow at some point will get it. As far as, like, other characters go, like a Tails or an Amy flick, um... Again, those might happen, however I highly doubt that. I feel like Amy might get her own series. Maybe a movie? I don't know. I feel like the most we would get out of Amy would be her appearing in the main, in the main movies, or like side characters in the side character movies. And then, at most likely getting her own role in like a TV show, maybe 
carrying a movie on her own. And, um, again, after that, uh, after that, I don't really know where it would go from that. I think Tales would, I think Tales would be more the same, his own, maybe his own series, his own show. Most likely. I don't know. I feel like his tail is, is like a major main character. He might actually get his own thing. I did not know he could hide in barrels. Where? Okay, so they clearly want me to... that was the way they intended or not, but that's the way I made. Um, again, I think Silver also would lend himself to, like, Silver would be more of, like, he gets his own movie as, like, a setup, and then we get, like, a big, like, Sonic 06 adaption. Again, not exactly like Sonic 06. Again, it's an adaption. <laughs> And again, at that point, we would be getting, like, you know, like, the more modern games. Like, we would get a bit of, like, after we get 06, we then get, um, we would then get, like, Unleashed and Colors and Lost World. And at some point, probably Forces. It's probably inevitable. They might eat. Again, um... At least that's the, at least that's where I think they would go. Like after they do the adventure game, they might even be like some of the storybook games. I don't know. I think the storybook games would be up adapted as like little mini series. You know, like kind of like what Marvel does. Like most of the Marvel shows get like a season on Disney Plus. And then, you know, like, that's it. Like, that's basically the setup. They might get a second season after they appear in another movie. You know, like, after a movie, they might, like, give the show a second season. It's kind of like, okay, this is what the heroes were up to that whole time. Now this is what these guys are up to. So I believe we have to go to the egg carrier now. And then after that we get like a, maybe another level, maybe just a boss fight. I think all we get is a boss fight now and then we'll be done. And as far as like shows go, I, I, again, pretty much all the, again, characters that, are, that will most likely get movies I've already said that. Blaze might. The Chaotix, I think they could get a movie. Or a show. The Chaotix, I'm kind of 50-50 on. I, I, they might even get both. I don't know. Do I need to go to the egg carrier? Yep. Yeah. I believe it's over here is where you go to the egg carrier. Hmm. Um, Amy, Tails, the Chaotix, maybe just Mighty and Rain, maybe the entire Chaotix. They would most likely get the show treatment. The Chaotix have equal. The Chaotix have a 50-50 chance of... I think the Chaotix would be like Knuckles. They both get a show. Like, the Chaotix get a show. And some movies. <laughs> Meanwhile, Knuckles would probably get his own movies at some point. Uh, Tails and Amy would be just the show characters. 
Shadow, Silver, Blaze, they would all get their own movie, maybe even trilogies, just duologies. Who knows? Maybe just one off films. And, um. I don't know. I feel like. I don't know. I feel like characters like Shadow might get, like, a small mini series as far as, like, Shadow aboard the Ark or something. <laughs> kind of like in a. Kind of like an origin series where Shadow, like, narrates at, over, um, just, like, tells stories of what his life was. Shit, I fucking died immediately. You know, where, like, Shadow basically, like, narrates, telling us the story of what it was like on the Ark for him. And tells us, like, his sides of things when he lost Maria. I don't know, I feel like that would be a cool little thing. We could even see a little girl get shot in our living rooms as opposed to just the big screen as we very potentially might see Maria's tragic death on screen. Just like, here little Susie, Billy, and Jimmy, let's go watch the Sonic the Hedgehog movie with now featuring child murder. Fork a... Ultra HD, I'd pay to see it. Shh, give me a ring, give me a ring, give me a ring. Never mind, give me a dead robot. Yes. And... <laughs> um, uh, what are other characters that would most likely get the spin-off treatment? Um, I don't know. Um... Again, Mighty and Ray might even get, like, a series, if they appear at all. I don't know. I imagine, like, Mighty and Ray getting, like, a... They're in, like... I, I feel like the Chaotix would get, like, a detective series, or, like... Or, like, I feel like the main Chaotix team, along with potentially Knuckles and Mighty and Ray, would appear in a... In, like, a series of detective movies. Or, like... They'd be kind of adventurous, and then, like, a chaotic show that's actually, like, just, like, focusing on their, um, detective side of things, and, like, maybe, like, a Mighty and Rain adventure series of, like, not movies, just, like, a quick show. But, um, I don't know, that would be so cool. Just in, get, just in general, I want the Sonic Cinematic Universe to... I, I want it to go somewhere. I want the SCU to be the next big cinematic universe. Like, so far, all we have is Marvel. Um, DC tried it. It sucked. Um, Sco Scooby-Doo tried it. It failed before it could even get off the ground. Just in general. I think the Sonic Cinematic Universe will really get up there. Anyways, that was Amy's story. Incredibly short, incredibly short. Um, again, I talked over the majority of the cutscenes and throughout the entire time. But, again, I really like Amy's story. I kind of wish I did shut up throughout the cutscenes. Because, again, I was talking about how great Amy's character is while I talked over it. So you guys could... But, again, I mean... How many times have you guys either seen or played Sonic Adventure for yourself? And within that, um, even then, like, if you really, it, like, if you've never played Sonic Adventure, or if you've never seen anyone else play it, I mean, I, I mean, you can very easily go online and just search Sonic Adventure cutscenes. And even if you don't want to watch the whole, all of the cutscenes, you can just watch Amy's story. Just literally Google. Google Amy Story Sonic Adventure. But again, I highly doubt that anyone watching this video has either never seen 
the cutscenes of Sonic Adventure or has never played Sonic Adventure in their life. Also, I hate Amy's theme. I, I honestly hate Amy's theme. I can't stand the lyrics, the music itself. I can't stand Amy's theme. It sucks. I don't think there's a single Sonic game where, where I like Amy's theme, if she even does have a theme in the game. Because it's just terrible. Like, later instrumental versions of it is better. Looks like the lyrics aren't there, but they are better in instrumental ones. Like, a remix instrumental is good. An actual, just straight up instrumental is still garbage. But, uh. Yeah, that's it. I have nothing more to talk about right now, so I'm just kind of rambling on. In general, I do like Amy's story and gameplay in general. I think it's very nice. I think it's good. Um, the only thing I wish would be different is she was a bit faster. She had more hammer attacks. Maybe like two, three more levels. Maybe like some other upgrades. Maybe there are more, but I just don't know about because again, I'm a dumbass. Um, I wish Amy was playable in 102. Well, she is in the battle mode, but... I, I wish, just like in general, Amy would... She's a hedgehog, of course. So it makes sense, because Sonic's a hedgehog, she's a hedgehog, Shadow's a hedgehog, she's a hedgehog. To me, it makes sense that Amy, and to extension also Silver, would be able to, you know, spin jump, spin dash. To me, it makes sense they would be able to do that despite being slower characters. Because you can make them slower, but you can still give them a spin dash and a spin jump. Like, in Heroes, Amy straight up gets all that in the homing attack. I guess she wasn't, I, I know she wasn't given any of that in Adventure 1 because obviously this, this was to establish Amy away from the rest of the characters as far as gameplay goes. So in this game it works, especially with how little gameplay there is for Amy in the story. To me this works. But if Amy were to appear a playable in the next, like, in a Sonic Adventure 3 or whatever the next adventure game is, again, Azuka and his team has, and Sonic team has talked about it, talked about wanting to do another adventure game. Whenever they do it, if they do it, if Amy's playable, basically do her Adventure 1 formula again, but make her faster and give her, like, moves she had in Heroes and the Advanced Trilogy, because in the Advanced Trilogy, they did give Amy some of that. She had a spin dash, she did spin jump, she had a hammer attack, not in, to the full extent that I wanted it, but again, she did have more than she does now. And again, if Amy does return playable in the next in another Sonic game, please, for the love of God, give her a better theme than this. This is terrible. This is this is objective garbage. I hate to be like harsh on whoever the composer was. I hate to tell you, but you did your job poorly for Amy's theme. Literally every other character. Like I don't really like Knuckles or Big's theme. I don't even really like Tails theme that much. They're still good. I like them. Just, I can't stand Amy's. Again, if given the opportunity, I wouldn't really listen to Knuckles theme, Big theme, or maybe Gamma's theme, because it's just like they carry your theme, something like that. I, I would listen to those if those came up on a playlist, but I would at the same time be very likely to skip them, just to get to a better song. Amy's theme, I would never listen to. You would literally have to hold me at gunpoint, and even then, I'd, I'd consider not doing it. Anyways, bye guys. See you next time when we play through as Gamma.